Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we are back with a brand new U2's review, and inside of here we have two figures, not just one. So let's get started. All right, everybody, now I am super excited about these figures inside of here because they just showed up in the mail today, and I thought I was only supposed to be getting in one of them today, and it happened that I got in eight different figures, so I'm so excited to crack into this because I did not expect them to show up today at all. All right, guys, now let me cut into this right here because this is a bit of a different collaboration than usual, very similar to how they did Cup 2s. They did something a little bit different with one of the figures. All right, guys, now here is the side of them right here. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Also, this is pretty interesting. It looks like these two are almost like put together in a way you guys can well I mean you can definitely tell what it is but if you guys can see over here it's got the slingshot and then it also has I forget his name well it's technically like angry bird and this one but it really looks like the slingshot is shooting him towards the pigs possibly you never know and I guess we'll just start with red for now and this one is super exciting because it's a little bit different than the rest of the figures because this one actually has the slingshot in front of him and I know it's kind of hard to see here on the sleeve, but if you guys want to check it out, there's the slingshot on the side there. Then on the back, it's an actual tower like you would find in Angry Birds. And then on this side, it's not much. But anyways, guys, let's slide the sleeve off and let's see what red actually looks like. Now, let me see if I can get the sleeve off. There we go. This is wow. Okay, that's got some nice detail. And now on the side here, guys, it says, I'm not blushing, I'm just red. And then on the back side here, it says, remember the goal is the castle. Get to the castle, who wants to go first? And even though the box does look like the game, all of the quotes are from the film. And also, if you look at the back here, you guys can see the sides as well as the backs of all of the different Angry Birds kind of turned into U2s, especially the green one on the side here. And now guys, let's slide the figure out and let's see what it looks like. And wow! <laughs> look at this thing here. So I was a little worried that this might be kind of flimsy and it seems like it's a little bit looser so that way it can move around a little bit, but red looks amazing, especially with the slingshot in front of them. But yeah, guys, I mean, just overall, this is a really well done figure. But now let's get on to the next one here. Actually, I think I'm going to show off the one that I unboxed on the main channel a little while ago first, and then we'll get onto the last one because that one is pretty special. And so guys, the one that I unboxed on the main channel is actually one that I got in a little while ago, and it's this one right here. This is Chuck the Yellow Bird. And now if you guys want to check out the sleeve on this one, you guys can see on the side there, there's one of the decoys, then on the back, another decoy from the film, and then on this side, nothing. They seem to only like to do two sides on these ones. And now guys, let's take this sleeve off and I'll show you guys what Chuck looks like a little bit closer up, because I did show this one off a little while ago, but I might as well do all three of them today. So on the side here, it says Chuck time. And then on the back, it says, hi, my name is Chuck. I'm sorry we got off on the wrong foot. I like you a lot, I can tell. And it looks like for this figure here, the box is actually the inside of Chuck's house. And I think that's really cool. And if you guys want to check it out, there it is right there. Then on the side, there's a little bit more at the bottom. And then on this side, you guys can see there's Chuck as well as the window. And then guys, the inside quote for this one says, wow, this is way nicer than my hall of wimpiness. Now let's actually take the figure out of the box. Actually, before we do that, I want to show you guys the inside of this thing. Because look, you guys can see red in the back there. And then I believe this is, I said big red last time. I believe this is Clarence. I think you guys let me know. I always forget his name, but I'm pretty sure it's Clarence, and he is <laughs> massive. Actually, I just realized he's a little bit off camera. There we go. That is a lot better. But anyways, guys, let's get into Chuck here and see what he looks like out of the box again, because really, this one has some amazing detail, especially with the feathers on his head as well as his tail. I don't know how they made them so small, but it really does add a lot of detail to the character. And when looking at the Angry Birds figures, they don't even really look like U2s. I think like the only defining thing about these figures is that the little U2's eyes as the pupils. But other than that, these things really do look like Angry Birds. And I think U2s went all out for this set and they really do look nice and I'm hoping you twos if you're watching I hope you make more in the future but now guys let's get on to the third figure for today as well as the last figure and you guys could probably tell which one it is from the side of the box but this one here is Angry Birds so this one is actually a collaboration with you twos as well as Angry Birds and Bird the YouTuber and so you guys can see here this is supposed to be the big bomb bird but it also looks like Bird and if you guys want to see what he looks like that's Bird right there and then this is the Angry Bird it's pretty cool how they mash the two together and now if you guys want to check out the box, on this side here we have the Angry Bird, then on this side we have an explosion, then on this side we actually have something, it's an Angry Bird again. And now guys, let's slide the sleeve off so we can see what this figure looks like. And wow, this thing is great. I am a huge fan of this one. Then also, on the side here it says, sometimes when I get mad, I tend to explode. Then on the back side here, it says, if my name were Bobby, would you ask me what is my hobby? Or if my name were Judas, would you ask me what my mood is? I laugh, I cry, I love, I hate, I do so much more than detonate. 
And guys, just overall, this is a really, really cool figure. I'm a huge fan of it. And then if you guys want to see the backside here, there is a bunch of really great art with more pigs. And I would love, like I said, some pig U2s in the future because those would look great. And I feel like if they were to make pig U2s, it wouldn't look so much like the inside of the red box. It would probably look more like these guys here because they are based off of the film. And I would totally be okay with that because these also look pretty good. But now, guys, let's pop Angry Bird out of the box. And actually, on the inside, before we do that, it says, ha 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 It's not a great laugh. It's more of probably like a menacing laugh, but I don't have a menacing laugh at the moment. I don't really know how to do it. Like, I could go, like, all out, like, ha ha No, I'm not even gonna try. I'm sorry. <clears throat> but anyways, guys, let's get into the figure. And also, I do want to mention that I wanted to order the original Bird, but it goes for, like, $200 now. So at least I could get, like, the Angry Bird and Bird collaboration put together because this still really does look like him. And if you guys are wondering what's different about this one versus the normal one. It's probably like the giant beak as well as the way that it's sitting. I know that it is a very plump bird and that's probably why they chose this one. But yeah, it still definitely looks great, especially with the two of them mashed together. Sorry guys, I just got to cut in for a second because I was looking at this figure right here and look at how tiny it is compared to like Chuck. I mean, seriously, I didn't really change the camera at all and it is so small. Anyways, back to the review. Sorry guys, I, I just had to let you know. And yeah guys, just looking at this figure, it really does look great and it is a little bit shorter than the rest of them because that's what Bird looks like if you guys have ever seen the actual animation and I definitely recommend checking out his channel because he has a lot of really great stuff over there and they're really short ones. They're like under a minute for most of them, but it is fun to watch them all. Cool. Look, come on, look at this little walk. Check me out. And all right, guys, there you go. That is all of the different Angry Birds U2 so far. And please let me know in the comment section below what other Angry Birds figures would you guys like to see? Because for me, like I said, maybe a king pig would be really cool or just a pig in general. Oh, you know what else would be cool? Like, what about the three blue birds as they, like, split off? Maybe they're, like, floating in the air or just, like, all three of them are stacked in, like, a triangle? That could be really cool. But anyways, please let me know in the comment section below what you guys are thinking. And anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Drippin' like a school. On a full with school. Maybe gonna school. She funny with it. Funny with it. Cool. B54 thump. I'm a hump. On a bump. Jack and Jill up a hill. Baby tryna get a meal. Mary had a little lamb. I really do not fuck with that. She callin' me the muffin man. I surely like the muffin top. Snow. Lama Lassie.